Anyway, that was like a scene out of a movie yesterday. They finally showed the uh, um, dash cam footage that they had of that car flying through the air before it crashed and exploded. Like, holy smokes, what was going on there? Two people killed? Man and a woman, I believe, I heard. Wow. Out of a movie. Like when the one guy explained it, he was a witness. He said it was like a scene out of a movie. You sort of go, oh yeah, a scene out of a movie. Yeah, <laughs> it was like a scene out of a movie. This airborne car going at high speed, very high speed. Which is why it became airborne and landed so far. <clears throat> wow. Wonder what we'll find out was the reason for all of this. Mystery. I really slept in this morning. The cats, by the time one of the cats woke me up, it was 7.30. My son was already, didn't hear my son get up, didn't hear him leave. <laughs> really weird. Really strange. I guess because I, uh, I did my usual, well, I have lots of blankets, so I, was warm and I warm, did I wear my bed socks or not? No, I didn't because it was warm, right? But then it was warm enough to keep me asleep. I mean, I went to the washroom um, once, I believe. And my son said, you know, watch out that you don't trip over that, you know, when you go to the washroom in the middle of the night. I said, yeah, no, no, I'll know it's there. I didn't even think of that cat tower being there until I was on my way back. So obviously it doesn't come into play at all. I just move wider, go follow a wider, wider path because uh, I did not trip over it. <clears throat> so the cats are not actively using the the only one who's actively using it is Julia. She slept in the in the actual house part. Ellie will slowly. Ellie is the scaredy cat of the two. She really is. So uh, it's just the way it is. I have a webinar tonight. <laughs> um, I'll watch it just for the hell of it to see if I'm interested in it beyond, you know, getting my points that I'm supposed to get. I'm not going to pay for that thing every year. No way. So why should I watch these webinars? It's merely interest. So I'll see if I am still there were many that I were not was not interested in. So if there's one that's interesting, I will watch it. If it's not interesting, I will abandon it. Probably if I don't pay for that uh, membership, I probably won't get notifications anymore and the webinars will disappear. My UBC webinars. I want to see if I can sign up for a series there. I had a lot of those last year and uh, or this this year over the last year I had a lot of those UBC webinars but I haven't had one lately. So let's see. 
So um, things have been very active here, <laughs> crime-wise. What, you say? Scott, Judy's husband, his truck got stolen last night. So when I went to buy my lottery ticket this morning, Amon said that there was some activity over, you know, across the street. He thought it was the crazy lady. No, <laughs> the cop was there because Scott's truck got stolen. And then Judy found out later the, uh, the coffee place on the other side of the street there, um, the one where I walk through to get home, they have a coffee truck and that got broken into, so someone was obviously trying to steal it last night, and uh, something else, yeah, so three, three things happened last night. So yeah, my son said, well, I guess I'll keep on parking the car in the garage. I said, yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> that is a good idea. Because uh, <clears throat> crime is rampant here, obviously. I, I just went for a short walk. I went to the to the post office to pick up my lottery tickets. Went past there and around, came around to the pharmacy to uh, get a uh, some lip balm, which I did not find there, <laughs> which alerted to them that they didn't have any. So he's getting some. In the meanwhile, I went to the grocery store to do some grocery shopping. Oh yeah, toilet paper. Then I found out I didn't need any. <laughs> Duh. Why don't you just look in there? I thought I looked in there. Whatever. Whatever. Of course, I was not out of toilet paper because when I'm out of something, I put it on my shopping list. So obviously I was not out of it. Should have known better. Anyway. Um, so I got extra toilet paper, so I'm certainly not out now. I have double the amount. Um, while I was there, I asked him, and I always look around, look around, don't see it, ask him, and he says where it is. They have everything there. So I got lip balm there. And um, what else did I get there? Nothing. Yeah, I tried to get some of the cookies, oatmeal raisin cookies that I cookies that I usually get there. Um, but I they they don't, they were getting fresh today, so. I didn't buy them because the old ones were there. The, the fresh delivery had not arrived, so I'll get I'll get some tomorrow. And maybe I won't. Just saying, maybe I won't. Yeah. It was after I got home that I said to Judy. Are you okay? Because you know I heard that there's a a police cruiser outside your house and so on and so forth. And that's when she said, "No, wasn't there for anything about me. It was Scott's truck." So I don't know if he did not lock his truck. I mean, he's got an old truck. Why would they steal his truck? It's an old thing. Certainly not worth stealing. I wouldn't think. It's not, it was not, it's not an SUV. It's not a fancy pants new thing. These are older people who drive older stuff. I mean, Judy's Beetle is nothing new. Hi, Heidi. Every now and then my turtle, my tortoise pops up here. Yeah, 
Yeah, so that was exciting. I told the kids. And apparently the place where I picked up my, where the man, where I found my parcel yesterday, that house, there's a cra another crazy lady lives there. <laughs> this Mimi told me this. And I said, uh, who, who says that? And she says, Anthony. So another legit crazy person lives in our neighborhood on our street. So not associate with your neighbors <laughs> they might be crazy people <laughs>